Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm talking about March's Knit Crate. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. Uh, thanks for joining, and I wanted to talk about March's Knit Crate. I got it yesterday. I meant to film yesterday, but it was super gloomy and gross, and I forgot, really. But anyways, I got my Knit Crate, and I already knew before I got it that I was going to use this as a giveaway. <laughs> so, spoiler alert, there's going to be a giveaway. But uh, because it's a solid color and I prefer the variegated ones or the speckled ones. And so I uh, usually, if it is a solid color, I do give it away. So yeah, let's get into it. The color that I got this month was da, 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 the red. It's got a lot of fibers up on it because it is 100% baby alpaca. It is really soft, but it's also, it's animal fiber. You can feel the animal fiber in it. I personally don't like it because I don't like the way like a real wool and all that feels and the way real baby alpaca feels because I don't like that the feeling of like hair on it I don't know if that makes sense but I, I'm just gonna stick to my acrylics and cotton and I'll be happy but it's super skinny yarn this time it's finger and weight and I can't say this word that it is I mean I could say it but I would pronounce it wrong La Brebus Brebus <laughs> I knit crate sorry if I pronounce it wrong and it is light alpaca colorway is dogwood berry pretty really pretty color uh 100 baby alpaca finger and weight 400 yards each so might have a slight allergy to alpaca <laughs> anyways what was i saying uh the suggested needle and all that stuff's on there so that's all of it <laughs> what i was trying to say by starting having a coughing fit is um 800 yards all together for two of them definitely give this away because i think i might be allergic to it <laughs> but it is a beautiful color even Devin thought that it was a really pretty color it's real it's rustic looking almost and um I love the color. I think it'd be a pretty Christmas color with like a dark green. But yeah, so that was the yarn that I got. The extras this month stop rolling, was a little baggie of stitch markers. The little plastic ones. And then also finally <laughs> the, the uh, needle tip protectors <laughs> uh, that they meant to send in January maybe? Or maybe December. I don't know. When they sent that little hat these are supposed to come. And uh they were delayed. And then the book this month is really pretty. Okay, I got interrupted by a message that I had to answer. So, um, the colors you could have gotten this month were the red that I got, and then this brown color. And it looks like a blue, bluish green maybe. And then the sock yarns were also solid colors. And the patterns that they have this month, they have socks and... They have a hat and cow set, and then this little, it's like a shawlette, or it's a capelet is what it says, but it's kind of like a, a short poncho or something, <laughs> and socks. And then it's got the written patterns in there. And then something I thought was super, super exciting was the preview for April. I love these colors. Look at this. Pretty sure there's going to be some purple yarn next month. <laughs> I know so many people here love purple. So it looks like there's going to be purples and orange and maybe some pink next month. Maybe some greens too. Ooh, ooh, I was excited when I saw that. But interesting thing, I got an email today from Knit Crate where they did surveys and they're going to be trying to change up um, the way they do stuff based on what people sent in information. They're going to try to make the, the extras more relatable to the project. So like instead of these random things <laughs> that like these I have no use for anyways because I don't knit or stitch markers they're going to make it something relatable to the patterns that come with your project in a little book and also the yarns a lot of people complain that there are too many solid colors which i don't prefer i mean i like solid colors every now and then but when i want cute specialty yarns i want variegated and speckled and stuff like that so they're going to be changing that up too and offering more of a variety and um stuff like that so it's going to be pretty exciting however it's going to take a few months to start being in effect because they plan out their knit crate boxes months in advance so that means that the first in the next few months will still be the same and then towards the later part of this year and especially next year we'll start seeing all these new um changes coming into place and another thing is the patterns people talking about how um it's kind of repetitive and it is you know every month there's socks and hats and uh shawls and that's pretty much like the cycle is Socks, hats, shawls. <laughs> Every now and then something else is thrown in there. And uh, not everybody in the world wants to make socks, hats, and shawls. So they are going to be starting to implement new changes. And it's going to be really cool to see all these different changes uh, come about. 
so yeah so that is my knit crate this month and i'm definitely giving it away because i'm pretty sure i'm allergic to it because my i was coughing and now i feel like irritation in my throat <laughs> but um so it is the two uh hanks of yarn the little pattern book and the two extras because i don't need stitch markers i got a trillion of them and uh, i don't knit so i don't need those so i'll package all them up I am afraid I'm going to have to keep this U.S. only, only because of all the coronavirus stuff that's going on. I don't know how international mail is going to be affected because I know a lot of countries, including ours, have shut down their borders. So I don't know if that affects the postal service. So I guess I'm just going to keep this one into the U.S. for now. And then uh, future giveaways, we'll figure that out once all this corona stuff is over with. But to enter this giveaway, just leave a comment below. What's the yarn kind of good? Dogwood Berry. So the word is berry. Let's, what's your favorite berry? Answer that question below in your comment. Tell me what your favorite berry is, whether it's like strawberries, blueberries, whatever. And um, I will do a random comment generator picker thing <laughs> in a week from today, which today is the 14th. So on the 21st, I will close it and draw <clears throat> a winner and I'll use the word berry as my uh, word to look for. So make sure you use the word berry in your your comment <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and get this up and i'm gonna put that yarn in a bag somewhere because it's i'm starting to like itch and everything so i'm pretty sure i'm allergic to it so i will see you guys in the next video bye guys